recently seen a video where a guy got, you know, by the police. And, you know, we all know that ain't nothing new. And we all know what type of time the police be on sometimes with that type of stuff. Tr uh, trigger happy, you know what I mean? Another, I just seen another one where a, a woman just got hit up by a cop and, you know, fatal injuries to the head in her own home, in her kitchen. You know what I mean? She was sitting in there looking for her ID or something. Now, she, you could tell she was a little bit, uh, you know, mentally kind of not all the way there a little bit. Or she had been going, maybe she was going through some stuff. I don't know. Because the cop told her, like, hey, man, uh, she, he told her, hey, put the pan down. She grabbed a pot or something, and it had some hot boiling water in it or something. And the, But the cop was about 20 feet away from her. I don't know, whatever, right? So he warned her again, didn't warn her again, and, and ended her stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, it's... If you if you want to justify the cop's actions and say he warned her and he didn't want no he didn't know she was gonna throw the boiling hot water on him or nothing or something like that you can say that but at the end of the day it, it, if that's the truth it's cowardly then you know you got this woman here who is clearly not in no threat to you like that because she walked you she welcomed you in her home first thing she said was don't hurt me or are you guys going to hurt me or something like that and they said no why would we hurt you right exactly what they said i think so they enter her home and all of this and then he wanted to see her id or something like that and it's like i don't you in my home why do i gotta show you id you know what i'm saying but it's like okay so she's looking for it she ends up grabbing the pot i don't know why and, but then she started saying something like i rebuke you or something like that right so he got probably got scared but you a coward then if you if you just end up doing what you did popping her in the head like i know i know people in the streets who didn't shoot that fast like i done seen people pull out guns man you know and it, it, it didn't end up with no bloodshed but it could have but it didn't and this the thing neither one of the dudes who put out guns was scared like that because if they was they would have just shot you know what I mean? It was an argument, and it got heated, and, you know, guns get pulled out on some, like, it can go wherever it go type shit. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm not an advocate for pulling out a gun, you know what I'm saying? But I'm saying it happens, you feel me? And uh, if, 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 so just think of that cop that, that did that to that lady over her grabbing the hot, the pot of boiling water. Think if somebody else would have had a gun, right? It's no nothing to talk. He he's ending them fast. It ain't no giving him a chance. Hey, put it down. None of that. Cause if he's willing to end her over that, he's gonna end you. If you even re look like you reaching for something, a, a, a pencil, he gonna end you. You know what I'm saying? That type of cop is not safe out here to be in the streets, man. And me coming from the streets, man. I know that everybody in the streets is not, you know, is out to harm people like that. You feel me? It's like, it's just survival. People grow up, so people grow up surviving. And you know, if you coming up in a, in an ill area, you got to match that energy. You know what I'm saying? To, if you out there, you know, and it's like, yeah, you might have to get ill sometime to defend yourself or to prove a point. So people don't fuck with you or something like that. But just going around killing innocent people, or damn, I didn't want to say the word um, on YouTube, to, but just going around, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's crazy, man. So as a cop that's supposed to, supposedly here to protect and serve, man, you quick, quick draw McGraw over a, 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 hot, a pot of water. It's crazy. And I see, I don't know what they, what happened to him, but going back to the, but the story that I just seen, the guy they told, see, now that's different. That was a female, and they didn't even warn her that much. He didn't warn her that much. This other one I seen just now, where he got ended, is the guy, 
they told him they pulled him over right and they had him on the, on the back of his car putting his they told him to put his hands on the hood or whatever on the trunk of the car or whatever he put his hands there but he kept moving he kept asking questions coming up like he about to walk up to him or moving his hands off of the hood and they kept saying hey put your hand keep your hands on the hood where i could see him right there and he kept putting his hands up doing something right and so this is this is the point where it's like look man you can't avoid some of these some stuff if you kind of you gotta you gotta kind of listen to these people man at the end of the day especially if you like a if you a target out here you know who I'm, what i'm talking about if you a target out here you know you gotta listen man when they say stuff don't give them a reason because if you giving them a now I know it's cases where they didn't really give them a reason. But you know, sometimes you know, people talk yelling back to the cop or uh you know, making sudden movements, you know what I mean, reaching for something. Oh, I'm grabbing my ID and you reaching fast. Look, these people is cowards, man. They looking for a reason to just squeeze on you. Right? They not ready to box you. They won't put the gun down or they won't they won't give you a chance to get over on them at all they, you know what i'm saying they they cowards man they're gonna do it quick you know what i'm saying so you gotta don't give them a reason keep your hands on the steering wheel ask them hey is it cool to reach for my id right uh it's right here you can get it if you want they're like nah grab it grab it slow you know what i mean because it's serious like that if you're trying to make it home to your kids man it's serious like that. If they tell you to keep your hands somewhere, man, keep them there, man. Like, the hood is hot, man. Tch, barely touch it or something. Like, come on, man, because you know what? We can make excuses and say, you know what? This ain't right and all of this. But if he ends you right there, you that's what you, you know what I'm saying? What what is it, what is it proving? Nothing. You're done. Your, your kids, everybody going to mourn you. It's all bad. Like, so you got to make it home is what I'm saying. And, and you got to let the universe get over, get the revenge on that, on the cop, how it's going to get it, man. However it's coming. Cause sometimes you ain't got, you can't really do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I just, I just hate to see people get ended like that. You know what I'm saying? Over something stupid. One, uh, years ago around the corner from my mom's house, it was a, a guy that got shot, you know, by a cop. His woman called the police on him and he ended up getting shot. <laughs> he was drunk. You know what I'm saying? He ended up, you know, being unalive from his injuries. <laughs> so, man, be safe, man. Make it home to your families. Straight up, let me know what you think.